how to update items in a drop down list in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a dynamic drop down list in Microsoft Excel. By dynamic drop down list, I mean you can add an item and your drop down list will automatically update and it will add that item inside your drop down list. Okay, same way you can remove an item, add an item, you can edit. All of this you can do, but you don't need to change the drop down list. It will automatically update. Let's get started. To create a dynamic drop down list, you need to create a dynamic data range. Okay, I have already showed how you can create a dynamic name ranges and you should watch that because that is the first step of this tutorial. After you have created your dynamic name range, then you will be able to create a drop down that will automatically update its item. Okay, so we have our name range ready. If I click on the name manager and you can see I have created the dynamic name range here. And if I click here, you can see this is our dynamic name range. Okay, first create your dynamic name range and then select where you want to create your dynamic drop down list. I'm going to create the drop down list here in cell D2. Click on the data tab and click on data validation and click on list and then the source would be your dynamic name range. Okay, I'm going to write equal to my dynamic name range. So this is my dynamic name range. Okay, and if I click OK, our drop down is ready. If I click here, you can see it has added all the items inside the drop down list okay you can see the last one is utilities expense i'm going to add new items here okay so i have added three new item and i want my drop down list here to be automatically updated so click on the drop down and scroll down you can see the last three item has been already added and i don't need to change this drop down okay now let's remove some values from here i'm going to remove all this keeping only two value here delete it and if i click on the drop down you can see we have only two values here okay control Z all the values are here and the drop down list is updated instantly this is how you can create a drop down list that can update its item automatically or in other way you can say you can create a drop down list that is fully dynamic this is what I wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching